Use of English ivy, hydrohelix in the treatment of whooping cough. Productive cough should be not suppressed, instead, mucus dissolving agents are recommended. One of the expectorants, which in Korea, is the excretion volume, is the herbal medicine derived from ivy leaves. Conclusion, improvement in cough was reported in 93.3% subjects, improvement in chest pain on coughing was reported in 84.7%, and wheezing in 90.0%, in dyspnea in 88.7%, and in auscultation changes in 94.8%. In addition, decline or normalization of body temperature was found in 96.0% of subjects. No adverse drug reactive NS were reported. Saponins isolated from ivy and forward slash or the whole ivy extract possess also antibacterial, antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties. 8. These activities could have a beneficial role be treatment of cough accompanying bacterial or viral infections of the respiratory tract. Dry extract DER 4-81 Extraction solvent ethanol 24 to 30% M forward slash MB, dry extract, DER 6 71, extraction solvent E, Hanol 40% M forward slash MC, dry extract, DER 3 61, extraction solvent ethanol 60% M forward slash MD, liquid extract, DER 11, extraction solvent ethanol 70% V forward slash VE, soft extract, DER 2.2-2.91, extraction solvent ethanol, 50% V forward slash V propylene glycol, 98 colon 2, constituents of the plant are about 2.5-6% mostly beta-smocytic triton saponins with hydrogenin, olenolic acid and baogenin, equals 2 SS hydroxyhydrogenin, as a glycone and acyl glycosidic sugar chains at C28 of the carboxyl group small amounts of monodismosides such as hydrin and hydrogenin 3 ssd glucoside which can develop during the drying process from the bisdismoside in the fresh leaves by hydrolytic cleavage of the sugar chain at C28 the main saponin is the hydrosaponin C, hydroacoside C, with other hydrosaponins B, D, E, F, G, H and I, present as well, hydrosaponina, described in an earlier publication could no longer be found in subsequent studies. The content ratios of the hydrosaponins 45 colon 10, flavonoids such as quercetin and chemfrol, including their 3 irutinosides and 3 glucosides, equals isoquercitrin and astragalin, Caffic acid derivates and other phenolics such as caffic acid and dehydroxybenzoic acid coumarin glycoside scopolin, and the polyacetylenes folcarinone, folcarinol and 11, 12. Dehydrofolcarinol phytosterols as stigmasterol, cytosterol, cholesterol, campesterol, spinosterol the volatile oil, in the fresh leaves. 1-0.3% consists of methylethyl ketone, methyl isobutyl ketone, transhexanol, germacan D, SS garophylline, sabinine, and SS pinene hamamiletol free amino acid 1 lozenge contains 26 mg dry extra. CT, 4-81, extraction solvent ethanol 30% in Europe the plant is named hydrofolium which stands for the leaf part in France the dry extract is from hydrohelicis folium, 5-71, most common name, S. hydrohelix L, herba for Norway, extractum. Sikum means dry extract, the leaf is also a very active vasodilator. However, in large doses, it is a vasoconstrictor which slows the beat of the hair. T and at the same time increases its tonus. A daily intake of 15 drops, children, to 50 drops, adults, of a tincture of the leaves, in doses of 5 to 15 drops, is said to restore hypertension to norma. Level within a few days and without recurrence taking place soon after discontinuance, Experience has shown that ivy, applied externally, 
acts as a very efficacious moderator of the sensitivity of TH. Peripheral nerves, which binds its principal indications in the treatment of rheumatism, neuritis, neuralgia and particular cellulagias, the pounded leaves are also used externally as parasitic and I. Secticide, for example, against scabies and lice also used in homeopathic preparations. The author also reported that homeopathic preparations are indicated in diseases of the respiratory tract, gastroids, inner tract, rheumatic diseases and hyperthyroidism. Due to the lack of clinical studies, those indications are not considered in this assessment report. Boiled leaves of hydrohelix applied to the out of the body, afflicted, fight ringworm, scabies and worm. The cataplasm of the leaves would rapidly heal fiuncles. Traditional use of a libation made by letting crushed ivy leaves set in a contite burr of red wine for two weeks. It was used to treat depression and was said to have stimulant, narcotic and hallucinogenic properties that were dependent on the amount that was drunk traditional used tea. Pickly is a soothing and antiprooriginous application for dermatological ailments and as a protective treatment for cracks. Grazes, chapped skin and insect bites, traditionally used as an adjuvant tea. Slimming diets traditionally used in the symptomatic treatment of cough, therapeutic indication traditionally used during benign acute bronchial conditions, cathartic, febrifuge, diaphoretic, anth, mintic. It is widely used in preparations for bronchitis and catar as an expectorant. IV extracts are often used in cosmetic preparations to treat cellulite with some success burns and rheumatism.